What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. I'm going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates from June 3rd for you guys to enjoy. So in one week's time, daily Manchester City transfer updates here on YouTube to keep you guys up to date this summer every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. If you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel, it is free to subscribe. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, do leave a thumbs up. 200 likes is the aim. And do get your thoughts as well in the comments below. Finally, I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is brought to you by SofaScore. They're going to be keeping you guys up to date with all the latest scores for all the latest sports that you guys all love to follow. All in one place, all in one app. Very highly rated. It is free to download, so do go and check it out. Links and details there in the description. Remember, anybody that does download the SofaScore app using my link in the description or alternatively the QR code on screen, it does help to support the future content created here on my channel. So I would appreciate anybody interacting with them. So we're going to crack on with this video. No contract news, no in news, all into the out but really interesting. So we're going to start off first with the very latest on James McAtee. And Alan Nixon's been discussing his future and says that Girona over in Spain uh, are keen on taking James McAtee on loan from Manchester City for the summer. And in my opinion, I think that would be a really good move. It gives them experience in a different country, in a different style of football, in a different league in La Liga. And also potential Champions League experience for him as well with Girona qualifying for the Champions League for next season. So I think that move would make sense and it'd be interesting to see how he does do in La Liga. He's obviously had a good season with Sheffield United in the Premier League. He's wanting to push on. So playing Champions League football and playing in La Liga is taking him to that next level. So I think that would be a really good move. Now, speaking about another Manchester City youngster, Taylor Harwood Bell. It's got the very latest on him. And with Southampton beating Leeds United in the Championship playoff uh, final yesterday, Southampton have secured promotion back to the Premier League. And that means Southampton, as per their contract, have taken Taylor Harwood Bellis on loan from Manchester City. If they were to secure promotion back to the Premier League, which is indeed what has happened, they have an obligation to buy THB from Manchester City for £20 million. And so Manchester City boosting their transfer kitty for the summer by £20 million there. So wishing Taylor Harwood Bellis the very best of luck uh, at Southampton and also in the Premier League as well. And I'd like to thank Taylor uh, for all his hard work and dedication to Manchester City. And as I said, wishing him the very best of luck there. Now, moving on, we've got the very latest on Calvin Phillips because that playoff result yesterday does mean that Leeds United probably not going to be signing him this summer. Now, Calvin Phillips was at Wembley yesterday. He's a Leeds United fan. He was watching them, cheering them on, hoping that they'd be promoted back to the Premier League, that they'd be able to push on and maybe sign him from Manchester City. But with them not sealing promotion, they've not got access to the full amount of the Premier League money. They've only got access to the parachute payments. And I imagine that Leeds are probably going to try and either stick with the squad that they've got or maybe try and bring some of their spending and funds down, which means they're not going to be spending more to bring Calvin Phillips in. So, what are Manchester City now, because of that result, going to do with Calvin Phillips? Really interesting. I'll keep my eyes and ears open for that in the summer. Now, moving on, we've got the latest on Jack Grealish and Martin Blackburn. Uh, the Sun has been speaking about him and says that Jack Grealish does have interest from Saudi Arabia this summer. Jack is featured in just 10 minutes of football for Manchester City in the last four games. He wasn't called upon when Manchester City needed a goal against Manchester United in the FA Cup final. So, reading between the lines... How is Jack going to fit in at Manchester City going into next season? Is Jack Grealish unsettled at Manchester City? Is he contemplating his future? Well, Martin Blackburn's pretty reliable with City information. So with interest coming in from Saudi Arabia, would Jack Grealish be interested in that move? That's another interesting, interesting one, like with Calvin Phillips, that I'm going to keep my eyes and ears open for heading throughout June, July and August. Now, moving on, Martin Blackburn's also been speaking about Mateus Nunes, and he says that, just like with Jack Grealish, he's also got interest coming in from Saudi Arabia. So I will keep my eyes and ears open for any potential developments on Mateus Nunes as well. City, of course, brought Nunes in only last summer from Wolverhampton Wanderers for a deal worth over £50 million. So I imagine City will probably want to give him at least a couple of 
seasons here. But if he does want to leave and he does want to pursue a move to Saudi Arabia, then as I always say, Manchester City, every player for the right price is for sale. Now moving on, we've got the very latest on Kevin De Bruyne and Paul Hurst at the Times has been speaking about his future and says that Kevin De Bruyne, he wants to sign a new contract extension at Manchester City. He does indeed have interest coming in from Saudi Arabia. Reading between the lines on that, it doesn't sound like Kevin De Bruyne is that interested in a move to Saudi Arabia and in fact he is very happy and settled in Manchester with his family and would like to extend his stay at Manchester City. Now KDB turns 30 three next month his contract expires next summer when he turns 34 so I imagine with that in mind if City are to offer him a contract extension it's probably going to be a one-year deal at most maybe a two-year deal I think if our City had negotiate that on a one-year contract extension with a clause if Kevin De Bruyne makes a certain amount of appearances for City it triggers an automatic 12-month extension on top of the current 12-month extension that he'd put at Manchester City is the way I'd go about it interesting to keep my eyes and ears open on that because it is pretty much a similar situation to what we had with Ilkay Gundogan and Man City were so relaxed about it that he ended up leaving the club so we'll see what happens with regards to Kevin De Bruyne now moving on to the final transfer takes us on to an update on Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola and Jack Gorham dropped a huge exclusive yesterday during Manchester City's parade about Pep Guardiola and him expecting to leave Manchester City at the end of next season when his contract does expire which firstly going to give my thoughts on that uh, I think that would be a massive blow for Manchester City there's obviously going to be a drop in quality because Pep Guardiola is the best manager in the world and as already has been reported by Paul Hurst at the Times that uh, Khaldun Al Mubarak who's the uh, chief executive at Manchester City he's going to be doing everything in his power to try and convince Pep Guardiola to sign a new contract to keep him at Manchester City because they know just how good he is now Pep Guardiola once he completes next season will have done nine seasons at Manchester City so just short of a decade which is a long time to have a high quality coach like Pep Guardiola in charge of the club it's been a privilege it's been an honour to have Pep Guardiola for so long it's the longest that he's ever stayed at any club ever whilst being a head coach and um, if we could get another year or two out of him that would be absolutely brilliant but at the end of the day the decision does come down to Pep Guardiola and uh, Jack Gohan reading his article that he's put this exclusive because sources close to City are suggesting that Pep could leave Manchester City that's what City are expecting to happen next summer is the word that's been reported from the club not just from Jack Gohan but from Martin Blackburn who's reliable at the Sun and Paul Hurst are all repeating the same message so that message is crystal clear and reliable the expectation at Manchester City is Pep Guardiola doesn't sign a new contract and he leaves the club at the end of next season that doesn't mean he's not going to sign a new contract by the way there's still 12 months for Man City to convince him to sign a new deal and I've always 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 maintained that we know that the results of the 115 charges are coming out in the next year whilst Pep Guardiola will be in charge at Manchester City and I am a firm believer that Pep Guardiola will make no public announcement it will make no statement it will say nothing about his future until he knows what's happening with them charges if Manchester City have the book thrown at them and Manchester City end up going into disarray which is a possibility that it could happen I hope it doesn't but it could happen if that does happen I struggle to believe that Pep Guardiola in Man City's hour of need walks away from the club however if Manchester City and things go the way that City want them to go which is City managed to clear their name and the charges are dropped then Pep Guardiola has achieved everything he's wanted to achieve at Manchester City. Won a treble, won a Champions League, four times in a row with the Premier League. He's made history, he's left, left a lasting legacy, not just in the Premier League, but on English football altogether. He has been there, done that, worn the T-shirt several times over. He's broken record after record after record. There is nothing for Pep Guardiola left to achieve other than when he does decide to leave City, which could well be next summer, that's what's been suggested, he'll want to leave Manchester City on an extreme high. He'll want City to go on and make it number five in a row in the Premier League. He'll want to go and win the FA Cup again. He'll want to go and win another treble and win the Champions League again. He'll want to have the League Cup. He'll want to be club world champion again. He'll want the Community Shield. He's a successful winner. He's, a, he's, he's the most successful manager. It's what Pep Guardiola does and he will want to leave winning the biggest and best prizes 
of them all. And that will be Man City's motivation if Pep Guardiola does make it clear that he is going to leave. I'm not expecting any announcement of that to come from Manchester City until some point in 2025. And as I said, we'll wait on seeing what happens with the 115 charges. So until we hear and get more clarity on that, then... We're not going to hear anything else. I do want to also talk about the timing of this report that's come out during Man City's parade. Is it the best time for this report to come out? Probably not. It would have been better to have come out today on Bank Holiday Monday to allow Manchester City's players and coaches and Pep himself and the fans to all celebrate Manchester City's wonderful achievements this season and then put the big breaking news and exclusives out the next day rather than during whilst we're celebrating. However, it's Jack Gorhan's job to bring out the exclusives for Manchester City. A well-written article. The article's crystal clear. You've got to read the article to digest everything that it's saying because Jack Gorham doesn't say Pep Guardiola 100% is leaving. He's just reporting and saying that more than likely Pep Guardiola leaves Manchester City in 2025. And he does actually go on to name some managers that Man City could well be contemplating to bring in, including uh, Michel over at Girona, one manager that Manchester City are keeping an eye on that City really like. Pep Guardiola is a big fan of Robert De Zerbi that's just left Brighton and Hove Albion, so we'll see if he's still available for next summer or not. Xabi Alonso's thought to be highly thought of at Manchester City, as well as Julian Nangelsmann, whose contract with Germany isn't up until 2026, and maybe City want to put in the pipeline a natural successor to Pep Guardiola, maybe it might need a little bit more time that maybe he might need to sign a 12-month extension so there's not a 12-month transition period between City hiring a temporary manager for a permanent manager to come in. What we want is a natural successor to Pep Guardiola and Pep Guardiola probably to communicate that to Manchester City, which is probably where these sources are saying privately Pep Guardiola possibly has already told City these are his thoughts, he's contemplating his future, he's not sure he's going to sign a contract extension, but I'm not completely ruling it out. And certainly in the public, he's not going to be saying that. And so the time of this article you can criticise during the parade, but you could actually say that it's the perfect timing to put an exclusive out there because Man City now have got a long summer before we're back in action. It gives a long time for us to get things sorted on and off the field and also press aren't going to be speaking or distracting Manchester City by speaking about nothing but Pep Guardiola's future rather than the club and the achievements. So that's the very latest. As I said, do get your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 200 likes is the aim. Do subscribe if you're new around here. We've got daily Manchester City transfer updates coming for you guys to enjoy throughout the whole summer transfer window here on YouTube. Through my channel, it is free to subscribe. So if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. The go-to Manchester City transfer channel this summer on YouTube. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. And finally, do go and check out today's video sponsor, which is brought to you by SofaScore. see you all again real soon for the next Manchester City video got my season review coming up I was going to do it today we've got the big exclusive about Pep so I like to do a video on that so hopefully that'll be tomorrow and then we'll have more transfer content pushing throughout the rest of the week and then daily from next Monday so I'll see you then so I've been JSGC thank you everyone for watching I hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>